I think one of the most important things that we can do as human beings is have a daily check-in. On this episode of Strongest You, I'm gonna give you a framework and some tips on how to make sure that you understand what's going on inside of you and avoid common triggers. And instead of being pulled down into your wounded self, you rise up into your strongest self. I'm Mike Foster, and this is Strongest You. So part of becoming the strongest you is leaning into what I call emotional fitness. And emotional fitness requires us to be emotionally aware. You see, you can't, you can't strengthen what you can't see. I always encourage people and, and my clients and the people that I work with, with with this basic kind of concept and idea is that you got to collect the dots before you can connect the dots. And part of collecting the dots is looking inside. Not sort of this navel gazing and sort of self, you know, kind of over focus on what's going on inside, but being aware of our emotions and the things that are spinning around inside of us. Being aware of our triggers and, and being aware of our feelings and emotions. And when we get aware of that, when we start collecting these thoughts, we can begin to better understand the choices we're making or our reactions to certain things. And so let's, let's talk about triggers for a moment. Let's talk about what happens when we get triggered. You know, maybe somebody says something mean to you or, or, or disrespects you, or you, you, you get set off by some, somebody on, on driving on the five freeway. I don't know. We get triggered all kinds of ways and in all kinds of places. And let, you know, we kind of basically are going through our day typically in this sort of passive unawareness. We're just kind of floating along. And then you get triggered and you kind of have two choices. You either do the drop or what I call the rise. And the drop is really where we sort of slide down into our woundedness. It's sort of this unconscious reaction. We just sort of you know, go there. We turn into from, from Dr. Jekyll to Mr. Hyde. And it's so easy. And we we've maybe have done this all our lives. When we get triggered or somebody says something or disrespects us or uh, breaks one of our values or breaks one of our, or, you know, it makes us feel bad. We, we drop into this woundedness. Instead, I want to encourage you, and this is what I think strong people do, is instead of dropping into your woundedness, we rise into our wholeness. We step up. We take like, a, instead of sliding down, we take this little ladder. And, and in that place, after we go up and we rise up, we're making an intentional choice of how we respond, not sort of an out of control or unconscious response. It sort of looks like this. We have the, the trigger, whatever the trigger might be. And then we have this pause, sort of this time of reflection. It might just be for a second or two. And we get to decide whether we're going to drop in to our wounds, drop into our brokenness, drop into that same pattern that we repeat over and over and over again, or we take a little bit of energy, a little bit of strength, and we climb that ladder and say, no, I'm going to choose and respond this way. I'm going to make a decision this way. And the only way that we're going to be sort of aware of what's going on inside and, and making good choices and rising up when we're triggered, is we have to pay attention to what's going on inside of us. Again, we got to notice the dots that are floating around. And this is what I want to encourage you to do. Do a daily check-in. I do this with clients all the time. And it looks like this. The check-in with our head. Start with our head. What's going on with our thoughts, ideas, that internal chatter? What does that sound like? Is it shaming? Is it negative? Or are we... Are we uh, worried. What does the check-in with our head look like? Our thoughts. And then let's move into a check-in. Second part of the check-in is with our heart. What are your feelings and emotions feel like? Are you are you are you scared? Are you angry? Are you are you um, you know hurt? What does it look like inside your heart? So we check in first with our head, then we check in with our heart. And then the final part of the check-in would be with our body. And I know sometimes our body is overlooked, but, but it's an incredibly important part of collecting the dots. See, are you, are you having problems sleeping right now? Do you have pain? 
Are you tired and listless? Again, having a check-in with your body is going to communicate a lot about what's going on with you. So we, da- daily check-in, head, heart, and then body. And then if you want to kind of go into an advanced check-in, I want to encourage you to check in with your, what I call the four primary emotions. And these emotions are really important. By the way, if you look in, in the Psalms, the psalmists talk about these four emotions throughout the Psalms. And, and here they are. Anger, check in with your anger, check in with your fear, check in with your sadness, and check in with your joy. Ang- Let's just start with anger. Anger, are you angry at anybody? Are you angry at yourself? Is there anything that's sort of brewing and stewing inside of you? You got to check in with that because that's going to impact how you respond and react to life. Fear. Are you, are, you, are you worried? Are you anxious? Are you kind of diving in and leaning into to fear-based scenarios? You got to be aware of that. If you're feeling a lot of fear, that's going to impact your life. And then, and then sadness. What kind of things are breaking your heart right now? And are you covering those things up? Are you dealing with those things? Are you honoring whatever the sadness might be? And then finally, joy. And joy is a great one. Like checking in with joy, because if you are deficient on joy, then I promise you those first three, anger, fear, and sadness, are going to be running amok. So maybe figuring out on your check-in, how do I increase more joy in my life? So let me be clear. Emotional fitness requires emotional awareness. And the only way that we can be emotionally aware is to have a check-in with ourselves, a check-in with our head, a check-in with our heart, a check-in with our body. We gotta be aware of those four primary emotions that are going on inside. And, And when we do, when we are able to look at all the dots, we're able to connect the dots in terms of how we, how we respond to life. Why are we getting upset over this? Why are we so worried about that? Why are we parenting like this? And it, having that daily check-in will help you thrive, will help you be strong. It will help create the best version of you. Hey, thanks for being with us. I would encourage you to head on over to strongestyou.org where you can sign up to have these episodes delivered to your inbox every single week. It's totally free. Uh, You sign up at strongestyou.org, have them delivered, get some extra content. Also, we'll make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can do that right now. And don't forget to join us for Forever You this Sunday. We'll see you next time.